Hello and welcome to Signature TV News Highlight for this Monday. I am Damilola Abudu. A former chairman of Nigeria Bar Association in Imo State, Indioyema Huanko, 64 years old from Marochuku, Abia State, was murdered in his office at School Road, Uweri, on Saturday. According to a statement released by the Secretary of Nigeria Bar Association, Chinedu Agu, he revealed that the late lawyer had left home since Saturday and could not return, which made his family members to become couriers. However, Agu further stated that an office mate of Wanko, Ishmael Umocha, went to check on Wanko in his office, unfortunately met the entrance door locked. Agu stressed that on a closer observation, Wanko appeared to have been maltreated by his assailant following court scene on his neck, which he said was almost been severe from his head. Imo State Commissioner of Police Nasiru Mohamed, in a statement by the State Police Public Relations Officer Orlando Ikioku, said the matter was being investigated. An entrepreneur, Mr. Demola Popola, has lauded the governor of Kaduna State, Malam Nasiru El Rufai, for the giant strides achieved in the state education and infrastructural development. Popola, speaking on the site of a business dinner in an interview on Sunday in Lagos, said the achievements of the governor was highly commendable and worthy of emulation. According to him, the ongoing massive infrastructural project at the Kaduna State University Castle Permanent Site, situated in Igbabi local government area of the state, would take the state to an enviable height. Residents of the federal capital territory Abuja have raised the alarm over rising killings of coordinated kidnappings in the territory despite the presence of over 15 security related agencies. Many residents who spoke on the rising cases also wondered why the FCT administration had not summoned the town hall meeting to allow the community leaders, estate owners and various vigilante groups on how to tackle the menace. They argue that the FCT has the nomenclature of a state and called on the two FCT ministers to rise up to the occasion or be booted out by President Mahmoud Buhari. In recent weeks, over 50 persons have been kidnapped in Abuja, according to security sources. Security sources listed Kuje Kubwa, Buhari, Apo, Slash Lukogoma, Guarimpa, and some undisclosed part of the metropolis as epicenters of abductions. The Muslim rights concern Murik has commended the Kano state government for banning an Islamic scholar, Sheikh Abdul Jabbar Nasiru Kabara, for alleged insightful preaching. The Kano state government banned Nasiru Kabara for insightful preaching on February 4th. The commendation is contained in a statement issued by the director of Murik, Professor Ishak Akintola. The action of the Kano state government is necessary to prevent any breakdown of law and order occasioned by the comments and actions of the Islamic scholar. The Kano state commissioner for information, Mohamed Gabra, who announced the other said the government considered the cleric's mode of teaching as provocative. Gabra also announced the immediate closure of all schools run by the cleric pending investigations by security agencies. Minister of Labor and Employment Chris Ingege has said the November 6th governorship election in Anambra State would be fight to finish. Ingege said no stone would be left unturned to ensure all progressives Congress APC takes over and occupies the seat of power in the state. He said Willie Obiano who would be the last governor to rule Anambra State on the all progressive Grand Alliance platform. The minister said APC would install Obiano's successor, adding that his party would use every instrument at its disposal to wrestle power from APGA in November. That's the Signature TV News highlights. For details, visit www.signaturetv.org. On behalf of my producer, Obomanu Marvelous, thanks for watching and do join us for Signature 30 Minutes later this evening. I am Damilola Abudu.